This is us just doing our own thing. We just straight chilling. He's Ro. She's Meg. It's, it's Megan, Megan Ro in the morning. morning. Good morning. When will see us? Um, my name is Megan, and yesterday I went to Walmart after doing a gymnastics class, which is the topic of this episode. And I've been really obsessed with cherry limeades from Sonic. And all a cherry limeade is is Sprite with like a little bit of fresh lime juice squeezed into it and a maraschino cherry and like some maraschino cherry juice, I guess, syrup. And so I looked high and low at uh, Walmart. I looked high and low at Walmart. (laughs) And I couldn't find it in the ice cream section. I couldn't find it nowhere. I couldn't find any mar- maraschino cherries. Or as I was saying last night, maritino terries. And, Ro, please put the pictures up on screen. All the way you, on your Twitter? On my, no, on Facebook. Oh. I found a jar that was labeled maraschino cherries, and it was just juice. There were no maraschino cherries in the jar. Mm-hmm. That was and, weird. Um... I decided upon finding the maraschino cherries, well, the maraschino cherry juice jar. Right. I would talk about it on the podcast, and I did. So that's my story. <clears throat> um, I'm I'm just stupid sore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, today's topic. I slept. Um, okay, last episode I slept on a couch, mm. and this episode I woke up in my bed, but I woke up wishing I didn't wake up because I am sore. Yeah, I wish I had. I didn't. I wish I hadn't gotten up this morning. Like it's cold, Mm -hmm. and it's dark outside, Mm -hmm. and it's not pretty weather. Nah, it's very cold. But you know how you can get out of the cold. You can go and take gymnastics classes. So Ro and I went and took a gymnastics class last night at Tall Timbers Gym. Mm -hmm. Um, they are located at twenty one oh one North. John Reddit Drive, Lufkin, Texas, 75904. Their phone number is 936-632-0001. So I don't remember when I first heard about the adult gymnastics classes, but I feel like it was last year at some point. I have never heard of a gymnastics class for an adult. Mm. For adults. Well, I think I heard about it when I was going to CrossFit last mm. year. Okay. And speaking of CrossFit, shout out to Kaylee, who is our instructor and I went to CrossFit with her when I was going to CrossFit. Mm-hmm. She was super nice. Her assistant's name was Madison. And yeah, so I found out about it last year. I never ended up getting to it. And then this year I did with Ro. We did it. Yeah, the I'm first just... the first class was free. Yeah, yeah, it is. And it's then, super cool. Um, which is nice because then you can try it out and decide if you like it without like any Paying sort of commitment. Right? right. And... um. <laughs> like for the rest of the month, it's like forty five dollars. We want to continue with it. Yeah, so it was forty five dollars for four classes. Mm-hmm. You're like, uh and you're like, well, they do their classes after hours. They do their classes after hours. It's just adults there. Yeah, they close at eight, so they're closing from eight to nine. Mm-hmm. And uh, so you're paying for their extra time being there. Right. And exactly. And the extra runtime for the gymnasium and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, you're like forty five dollars. So that's like ten or so dollars a day, and it's just like that doesn't seem fair. We're like, well. You try staying after hours that late and, right. and work. Yeah. So I think it's a really fair price. Mm-hmm. Um, I wore a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and a sports bra because I was like, I haven't done. I used to do gymnastics when I was really little. I think I was like four years old when I did gymnastics. So I don't remember anything except for the fact it was a lot easier when I was a small child. And as an, a grown woman who does not stretch regularly... Right. It was really difficult. Uh, yeah, I wore my Abercrombie and Fitch long sleeve shirt, sweater type. Had a hoodie on, mm. but it wasn't as thick as a sweater. Right. So it's kind of like a shirt material. Mm-hmm. And then I had my uh, 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 what's that one store you always go to? It's kind of like H and M. H and M pink shorts. Mm-hmm. Classy. Uh, I should have not worn those. They were thick cotton, mm-hmm. and that's why I was sweating like a pig. Yeah, you really were sweating. And uh, as it, as it, that's all I wore. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we we went, uh, we showed up a little bit before 8 o'clock. We just had to wait for a few minutes because, like, 
the kids were finishing up with their last class of the day or whatever mm-hmm. kids were getting picked up mm-hmm. uh, we had to sign a waiver like yeah. basically just saying hey if we get injured like it's not the fault of tall timbers basically it's a big old piece of paper that says if you break something it's your fault yeah exactly in the story that's it mm-hmm um and Ro had I had just been like at home I had been doing laundry so I had been walking like I don't have laundry in my apartment yet so I was walking back and forth and back and forth to the laundry facility and then I took my dog on a walk it was a whole thing right I went to the gym you went to the gym good old leg day Mm -hmm. which was okay because we used our arms a lot we did use our arms a lot so we didn't use our legs as much but I was already tired but i wasn't like exhausted right i was pumped i was like yeah look another workout Mm -hmm. and then 20 minutes in i'm like shit why did we come here yeah no um it was we'll say this it was a lot of fun yeah it was just very very taxing Mm -hmm. um so we first started with warm-ups and the warm-ups were almost harder than the actual like workout that we were doing were a workout yeah they really were she's like all right now pick up your body from the sitting position yeah i'm like how you do that mm-hmm. it's a yoga class lady yeah this exactly is a gymnasium mm-hmm. so that was less than preferable mm-hmm. um but we did it and i did the worst out of everyone effort is what counts i i tried my best but i like everybody else was so much more experienced <clears throat> and ro is fucking like killing it you uh, were killing it my sister was in gymnastics at academy mm-hmm. the one behind uh live well yeah i went to that that was the one i went to so my sister went to that and then going to all these countless recitals and like oh my god yeah like clap and here's your flowers and blah 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 whatever let's go to every recital every freaking year mm-hmm. so I, like after seeing them doing all this stuff i'm like okay i kind of picked up the like watching and learning kind of deal right this right. is how you do it like, oh, okay but i've never done it up until high school like when, when you I were was, a mascot when I was a mascot mm-hmm not in the mascot suit because the mascot suit in Lufkin is a big old panther head. Mm-hmm. So you try doing a cartwheel with a big head. like That wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. So I would like do it at home, do it in the pool, do the trampoline. and mm-hmm. So I would just like practice. Right. So, I mean, I can do not a perfect, but I can do a cartwheel and a handstand. Nice row. I can't do either. I had to do the progressions. We have video that's going to be up at the end of this it's episode. It's not good. We only, we, okay, we looked tired because that was at 40, the end. It was, was like, at the end. Yeah, 50 minutes passed. So, like, from the minute we started to the minute we had our session, like, end of session. We had 10 minutes to spare. She's like, do whatever you want. Stretch, you know, loosen up. Um, So, like, the time we were actually tumbling or, like, doing all the gymnastics stuff, like, we weren't... I wasn't recording because we were, like, actually working out. Right. We were, like, doing the damn thing. So, we were, like... On the video, it shows, like, we're, like, 0% effort. Like, we're super tired because we already did, like, 50 minutes worth. Yeah, exactly. I... I... All I could really do was... So, you put, like, one foot... And then you put your hands and then you're trying you to like cartwheel. Oh. Yeah. And I couldn't do that. I couldn't do a handstand. Um, I don't have, apparently what I've learned is that I don't have any strength in my upper arms. So I'm a little toothpick. I got strength in my legs. I got no strength in my arms. And that's what we were using. Mostly. Yes. Was like our arms to <laughs> like push us arms. up. And I so. How, I, how are your arms? My arms are fine. My legs hurt. Really? Yeah. I'm the opposite. Even though I did leg day yesterday, mm-hmm. my arms are, are on fire. Like my tricep. I mean, I guess my shoulders hurts. are sore. My tricep hurts. My shoulder hurts. My back hurts. My neck, I try to pop, but it can't because it hurts. Oh, no. So I'm just like, yo, I feel like I'm stiff. Like, I look like I'm not stiff, but I feel like I'm stupid stiff. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, ugh. Like, it agonizing pain. They, so obviously, because I was the least experienced and like least in shape, Kaylee, shout out to her, seriously. She helped me with like demonstrating and like helping with my my form and different things like that. Um, and that wasn't we didn't just do like cartwheels and handstands. That would have been like lame. We did the vault. 
Yeah, so we had like this little spring, right? The like fir- a springboard. The first one was just, like a springboard, and I was kind of like, and I was being serious when I said, "Is there a weight limit to that?" Because mm-hmm. certain springs have certain weight limit, mm-hmm. and so sort of audio and visual people, my chair is still rotating. It's okay. I'm gonna leave one foot down. I'm gonna be like this the whole time. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I was like, "Is there a weight limit?" Because I was being for real. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, I don't think so. And I was like, whispering, we're about to find out if there is or not. Because mm-hmm. uh, I weigh about 270-ish on a good day, on a bad day, depending on what I eat. Choo-choo. Um, <laughs> was good Choo-choo. <laughs> um, and on a bad day, it just depends on what I eat. You mm-hmm. know. But uh, yeah, I weigh about 270. And I was like being for real. Like, is there a weight limit? Because I don't want to you know, mess this up or whatever. Right. And um, we were just jumping up onto this, like, foam box thingy. Yeah, the first one. The first one. The second one. Was an actual vault. Yeah, actual, like, trampoline. With a vault. With a vault. And that was kind of scary-ish. That w- I couldn't... I had such a hard time doing it. I felt so embarrassed. It was... Uh, but I didn't want to get hurt. Oh, 100%. I mean, that's the one thing. The best part is that there's a load of foam. Yeah. Everywhere. So I would, like, fall onto that. Yeah, like, it's just a load of foam. And I'm like, okay, that's the best part. Mm-hmm. And that's what, like, makes other people seem like, okay, it's not as bad. Mm-hmm. If you fall, you fall on foam. Right. And that's about it. You know, you, you ain't going to, you're going to, it's going to hurt, but you're not going to be injured. Right. That's the, that's the main point. Yeah. So that was the, the actual, like, I could do box jumps really well when I was in CrossFit. That was, like, my favorite thing to do was box jumps. Um, Cause it's like crazy how much you can propel your body up. Oh yeah, you know, like that's insane. I I like the first warm up we did. It was like kind of like military style. Yeah, over, like jumping over, over, over the under. little beams. Yeah, I miss miscal- obviously I miscalculated with the freaking beams. Mm-hmm. Cause I would like get up too soon and like my tailbone would like hit. Oh no! And they're like, oh no, like you okay? I was like, I'm good. I'm just miscalculating the height, mm-hmm. like my height and the beams height. I feel like it's taller, but it's not. It's actually shorter mm-hmm. than what I think it is. Make sure you bring a water bottle, by the way. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Okay. I, I also. Bring a gallon of water. I mean. I want to make a note of this. This is no judgment. It's just that if you're trying to be really COVID cautious, I would not recommend going. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're yeah. within. If you're like, if you're, you're autoimmune compromised or you have people in your life who are at risk i would suggest not going ro and i are both fully vaccinated um and so we were we felt fine with it but like no one was wearing masks obviously because you're working out yeah um and there was no like temperature check or anything but that's no judgment like a lot of places in texas aren't doing temperature checks or anything like that so (laughs) 90 percent of texas ain't doing it no so i just wanted to mention that for anyone who like might want to go but like Maybe they're concerned about their health and safety. Yeah. Um, it may not be a good idea to go until, you know, maybe you have your booster shot or things calm down with COVID a little bit. Right. But, um, you know, everybody was as healthy as a horse there. So um, healthy and unathletic, except mm. for that one chick, whatever your name is. I asked all of them, like, how, what number class is this for y'all? Mm-hmm. And the two other chicks, the OK, not the one that was wearing like the soccer shorts. Mm hmm. And, and like the blue tank top, not her. Okay. The other two, um, they're like, this is our second class. And I was like, it does not look like your second class. No, 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 no. And the other Everyone one. Everyone was so athletic. The other one that was going first the whole time. Mm-hmm. She's like, this is my 20th class. And I'm like. Oh, and she looked like a pro. I was like, what? what? And then she's like, yeah, I still don't know what I'm doing. Ro I was, was like, the only guy oh, there. Crap. Yeah, I was the only dude there. Um, and one of the kids or the students from that gymnasium were like, yes, right. a guy. And I was like, bet. And I thought he was going to stay. Oh, I was like, sweet, another dude. And he left. I was like, crap. OK, cool, whatever. You'll have to bring some of your homies. Seriously. Hey, 100%, this would, I, 100%, think, 100%, I, I mean, really think real that talk. this would be I invited my friend Morby and she was like eight o'clock is kind of late for me. And I was like, I totally understand. But I think that this would be something really fun to do. It's, it's just once a week. It's on a Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. That's it. From yeah. eight to nine. Eight to nine. On, on the dot. And so, I mean, we had a really good time. I had a good time. I, showed, I mean, I even though I was embarrassed, like, the whole time. I showed one of my friends the uh, the handstand I did when I fell. Mm-hmm. And I fell on my back. And then uh, uh, I sent her that video. And she's like, I think I would have just break my neck. I was like, yeah, I, don't, I don't think you would break your neck. You'd break something else, but mm-hmm. not your neck. I mean, your neck would be the last thing you'd break. I think that it's, like, 
Or the first thing. I mean, what are we doing here at Megan Row in the morning? We're trying to get people to like... Go out. Enjoy themselves. Go out and find new things. Mm -hmm. And Roe had never heard of this before. I never heard of talk to him. I mean, I've never heard of an adult gymnastic class. Right. Never. I didn't even think adults would do gymnastics. I right. thought it was just a kid thing. Like everybody else thinks it's a kid thing. Mm-hmm. I'm taking my little nephew to gymnastics. Oh, okay, cool. You know, oh, my little sister's is a recital. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Hey, I'm about to like 25 year. I'm about to go to gymnastics class. I'm like, what? Right. Are you that flexible? Like, are you sure? Well, it was really funny because I kept being like, all right, I'll see you at gymnastics class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so super weird. But, <laughs> but it was funny. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll see you at gymnastics. And I told my mom and she's like, you're taking gymnastics? I was like, yeah, it's a free class for like your first time. She's mm-hmm. like, okay. And I come back like, okay. When I left, I was like, mom, I'm going to gymnastics. Oh, cool. I come back. What? What? How was gymnastics? Like, I just came back from gymnastics. Like, it sucks. Like, yeah. Well, we were both like, Damn. we're coming back. But that, like, it both was really fun and it also really sucked. Oh, uh, yeah. Does that make any sense? Yes. Like, there was joy within pain or with pain. And grief. And grief and regret. And even though, but okay. Lots of fun. I'm a very easily embarrassed person. So, I think that, like, because everyone was doing better than me, I was like, Oh no! And the but best part, no one was saying we we're like, uh, uh, yeah, like the nobody ladies, was judging. Nobody was judging. The, one of the ladies was like cheering for me. The one that had the twenty classes, right? And she's like, Shit, I was way worse than that. And mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way you were worse than 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 me. She's like, I was like, uh. thanks, bro. Thanks for your welcome. support. I appreciate she, it. Because she's well, one, she was older, and she's like, I have never stretched in my life, and I was like, ah. That's yeah, I'm definitely going to stretch beforehand. But I think this would be fun to go do. $45 for four classes. That is not bad. I mean, People I, I, spend I'm, I'm taking consideration of them being after hours. Right. And like the extra time being there. I'm like, okay, that's that's worth it. Well, I think mean, about if you go and eat out. Like that's maybe three, four meals. If you go to like a sit down restaurant. Mm-hmm. That doesn't even include tip though. No, it doesn't. That's just the price of like yeah. the meal. Right. So I think that it would be worth it if you're looking for a new interesting way to like work out and get active. I really think that this would be the thing for you to go try out and bring a friend. Like it was a lot more fun having Ro there. It was a lot more fun having make like it would have been awkward if it was just me. Right. Or if it was just you. Right. You're like, I don't know anybody. Right. I mean, I like I know Kaylee kind of because we're like acquainted from CrossFit. Right. But it was nice to be like, bro, like you did great. Like, you know, I don't think you should bring a friend. I mean, yeah, or should. if you want to make friends, because that's another thing that we get hey, asked a real. lot. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I get asked this a lot. And I think that you probably get asked this when there's like newcomers in town. They're like, how do you make friends? Like, where do you go to make friends? This would be a place to go and make friends. Genuinely. Mm. Um, It's over there kind of. It's like past 94. Like if we're going towards the skate ranch. Right. It's near that area. It's in that area. And they take a little roundabout. Yeah, you have to do a U-turn. And everybody knows that big old white Jeep looking building. Mm -hmm. And then next to that is some business. But the the gym is kind of like hidden in a way. Yeah, I actually turned into the wrong parking lot at first because my Google was like, you've arrived. And I was like, what? Did you turn into the glass? Yeah. Business, the glass technology. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, so obviously because you're going at night, like just it's 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 further than you think it's going to be. Yeah. And so keep going. Don't go into the first area, like the first parking lot. Mm-hmm. You'll turn into the second one and it's further back. And there's not really a sign or if there was, maybe it was damaged by the hurt, the, the tornado that blew through recently. Right. Yeah. So there was like no like obvious like, signage. I was, I was driving on the shoulder, driving and checking, driving and checking. I'm like okay it says it's right here and i look and i'm like okay that don't look like a gym and the lights are off mm-hmm. so i went a little bit further up and i'm like all right that looks like a gym and the lights are on and there's also like people leaving yeah but it's not right at the road no it's no. a little bit further back right. and because of the location it's in it's kind of hard to see but yeah i think we're definitely going back um what i really would want in lufkin mm-hmm. i really want a pole dancing class hey, i think I that mean, we need to go do that for megan row in the morning <laughs> yeah i do i really do i got upper body strength but i'm like i don't got that kind of upper body strength well we'll try it out won't we you see me on that rope i just like went one up and that was it well you know pole dancing isn't all about climbing up the pole pole dancing is an art yeah art. 
I lock my leg around that pole, and next thing I know, I got a cramp, and I got to <laughs> gotta spread my legs up and not catch this, catch this cramp. We're going to do a pole dance. I've seen pole dance in TikToks. So I'm like, okay, that looks really hard. Yeah. Like, stupid hard. Yeah? And are, are you not up for a challenge? Are you I chicken? Mean, if the if I catch a cramp the first time, I'm 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 bounce if I catch a cramp the first time. Then be like, eat your vegetables. I'm mean, not your vegetables, eat your fruit. Get some get some uh, uh Eat a it? banana, banana and drink some water beforehand. I'm like, girl, like my legs are for lifting, not for holding my fat ass. You know what I'm saying? Like Anyway, <laughs> coming twenty twenty two, uh in February. Ro- we're gonna have a pole dancing class. Yes. That would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Uh, shoot you, you guys should watch the try guys <laughs> pole dancing video it's really funny um like watching men like grown men try to pole dance uh, i can hear a lot of grunting already mm. yeah exactly of one dad, of my favorite pole dancers her name is gracie bunteen i think that she's from it's either new zealand or australia uh-huh. and she is so muscular it's I, insane i bet um, and I love watching her performances because she just puts a lot of effort and passion into it. I bet. I mean, you, you, you can make me go ballet, right? I'll try ballet. Okay, we'll do I'll, that. I'll try gymnastics. I'll try yoga. I will somewhat try um, rope. The climbing? Rope climbing. I'll somewhat try that. I have a video on my Instagram where I actually did rope climb, but I was like super athletic. And stronger than I was now, um, but when you when you talking about either pole dancing or the, like those um, aerial, yeah, mm-hmm. that stuff or the calisthenic workouts where you're like you go from barring like you pull up, you spin, and they do that again, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. I'm like, all right, when you talking about like superhuman strength, like oh, chill. Like, pole dancers are on another level like picking up weights is one thing and i and i and i said this too at the gymnastics class and i and i 100 percent like this is on mm-hmm. record I, I stand by this so the people that say that cheerleading is not a sport bro fuck you honestly honestly cheerleading is a freaking sport i i'm gonna post videos of me lifting heavy weights at the end of this video but i will lift like twice the size of me i will bench press like my weight i will squat twice my weight i will deadlift almost twice or three times my weight but, but you tell me to do a freaking handstand? Yeah. You tell me to do a cartwheel over and over and over? Like, this is literal hell. Yeah, no. Like, it was it was I pretty am bad. I am dying. I am sweating. And I said, I'm like, lifting weights is easier than lifting your body. No, over absolutely and over and it over. is. Like, absolutely. it is BS when people say chilling in the sport. Well, because when, when you have, like... When you have a like a like a barbell, right? Yeah. You know what th- what's gonna happen with that? 100%. You don't know what what your legs are gonna do. You don't know what your hips are doing. No. When you're like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I understand. You remember when the Olympics happened? Yeah. And Simone Biles had the twisties. Yeah. I one hundred and ten percent understand what she means by getting the twisties. Yeah. Because when you're in the air, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going on. And uh-uh. I know that like professional gymnasts are like, you know, they usually can figure they, that out. Yeah, they can control their bodies. But but I I can't imagine like having to do like these twists and turns in the air and stuff. Like right. I can't imagine that. And like, like on a beam or on those like pole thingies. Right. Like, oh my God. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I would like to see. We have a newfound respect is what we're saying. Yeah. I, I would like to see uh, like football or basketball powerlifting dudes like, hey, you're strong, mm-hmm. but are you gymnastics strong? Absolutely. Do you have balance? That was another I thing. I kept it. I kept falling over because of my balance. I suffer from vertigo on occasion, which is like where the room is feels like it's spinning, but it's not. Oh, okay. And so I I wasn't getting dizzy. I just like didn't I don't have balance. Right. And that's why I think I should go to this class is like to help yeah. with my balance. I just realized I'm gonna blur out my hand. I got super hyped and I was like defensive about like cheerleading or whatever when I like flicked off to the camera. Mm. I'm gonna blur that out. But I mean what I say of like have some respect to like 
gymnastics Honestly, and cheerleading, bro. Like, female-led sports, like gymnastics, cheerleading, pole dancing. Because, yes, pole dancing is a sport. Like, it requires so much more yeah. than, like, powerlifting or anything like that, oh, yeah. in like, my opinion. Like, I, I've, I've always known that cheerleading was hard just because... Like, those girls must be stronger than those football players. They have to be. I mean, I, not only that, but I'm just like, yo, how strong is your core? And also, you have to be so coordinated. 100%. Because, like, they're doing dances and stuff. Like, it's insane. It's body control. What we're saying is you should go. You should go. You should try it. You should appreciate it, you know. And, and, and. Uh, uh, Bring a friend. Uh, I'm kind of considering, you know, uh, signing up in Jan just because. Uh, I'm gonna spend all my money on gifts these next two months. Right. And then I'm going to New York, so I'm gonna, right. like not spend as much money. But I'm considering like joining in January, and like commit. Right. And see how much of a body development my body goes. Right. So, from like, going to gymnastics. From, from from doing gymnastics and doing gym, it's like all right, which one is actually beneficial? Mm -hmm. Which one actually like builds strength, and and changes like your perspective on on life because. Once you start working out, you change your mentality changes. Absolutely, it does. Like you see things differently now. Mm -hmm. You can pick up heavier things now too. Again, shout out to Kaylee and Madison for um, hosting the class. I want to give a uh, so Kaylee, not Kaylee. Madison was saying that her one of her favorite places right now is Buck's Cup of Joe. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to shout that out. For real. At the end of the video version of this podcast, there will be a short interview that we did with them. Um, as well as the video clips from when we were doing gymnastics. So um, thank you guys for listening. We're getting to the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. So it's time to do the social media stuff. You want to do this time? For sure. You can follow us at Meg and Roll in the Morning on a Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, all where, no, everywhere you can listen to your favorite hour. You know, we're your favorite at this point. Yeah. Because why not? Uh, podcasts. You can listen to any, uh, you can listen to this podcast anywhere except Apple Podcasts. Yeah. We're still not on Apple Podcasts. But yeah, if you got if you got uh, Pandora, if you got Spotify, the two main uh, platforms out there, you can find us there. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram. If you can find us on YouTube. If you want to watch us, you can hear us. All the whole shebang. You can uh, add us on the platform we don't use as much, which is Twitter. And use the hashtag Mister In the Morning. That is the handle as well for Twitter. Mister In the Morning. M R In the Morning. And uh, 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 keep up with us. You know, like it's it's uh, we we'll, we post things on the instagram for upcoming episodes absolutely so we you do. get like a heads up mm -hmm. of what's to come mm. and uh for the month of november we'll be just talking about different things you can go and do in the lufkin area and at the end of this month i want to shout this out um at the end of this month we're going to be doing a holiday gift guide mm -hmm. so look out for that we're also going to be talking about white versus Hispanic Thanksgiving, yes, uh, among other things. So let us know if you end up deciding to go. Um, we may do like an event where we bring a bunch of people to right. go do gymnastics. Yeah, I mean. Follow Tall Timbers why on not? their social media. Uh, and thanks so much to them for uh, having us. Yeah. 100%, it was a lot of fun. 100%. And uh, um, thanks, the last episode of the month will be on Thanksgiving. No, that's not true. Wait, I got the dates wrong. So there's another Monday. My bad. Yeah. There's yeah, yeah, another yeah. Monday. I'm tripping. Mm. Okay. But watch out for those two. You know, Thanksgiving episode the and the last Monday of the month. You really don't want to miss those episodes. They're going to be really good. All right. Um, my final thought is drink lots of water so your body isn't as stiff the next day. And stretch a lot too. Okay. That was great. All right. What are y'all's names? I'm Madison. Kaylee. I'm from Rosenberg, which is south of Houston. Okay. Uh, I'm originally from Lufkin. So I took gymnastics when I was three years old, uh, and I actually lived in Joaquin, Texas. Okay. Um, and so from there, just kind of, I just loved it. Uh, apparently, I was good too. Uh, three year old doing a round off back handspring. Apparently that's pretty impressive. Wow, yeah, I know. That's insane. Uh, and then we moved to Lufkin after that, and every place I went to shut down. Okay. I know, sad. Um, like I would go. There was one that was downtown Lufkin. Went to that one. It shut down. Uh, there was Gymagination. It was like towards Hudson, I think. 
shut down and I was like, am I not meant to do gymnastics? So by that time I had to find a new hobby. So I did band and twirling. I'm um, kind of like her, I did it. I did rec level when I was a kid and I just always loved it. Um, this is how I kept with it. I didn't do it all the way through. I just have always loved watching it and being a part of it. So getting to coach it was kind of the next thing for me. Oh, and then, sorry. Oh yeah, she's, <laughs> hers is more impressive than mine. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, once I got to college, I was like, oh, well, they have a gymnastics club. Why not join it? Uh, so I joined it and I competed. I did floor and beam, but it was like basic stuff, like round off back handspring. That's all I could do. Uh, but I competed it and it was great. It's at Texas A&M. So. That's awesome. Yeah. So I was looking for a job and I wanted to get one working with kids. And so the next thing for me was like, well, I'll coach something. I'll coach either sheer gymnastics. And Tall Timbers was one of the places that I had emailed about a job, and they were the first ones to get back. Oh, nice. Wow. What about you? Uh, so I started coaching after college in College Station. Um, just because I was like, I loved it when I was a kid. I liked it in college, and I just like kids. So I was like, let me just start with that. And then eventually I was like, well, let me move back to Lufkin. My family's here. I'll just come back. And so I was looking at places here. We have a lot of gyms, um, but none that are just like specific to gymnastics. And that's when I followed Tall Timbers and I like emailed and I was like, boop, boop, boop. And then I just joined. That's awesome. So what made you want to start an adult gymnastics class? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because I wanted to take adult gymnastics. And so I was talking to my boss and I was like, hey, like, we should start an adult tumbling class because I wanted her to coach it. And she was like, yeah, you can do it. You can start it up. And I was like, okay, I'll start it. Um, just because like, I feel like if I wanted to do it, there's bound to be somebody else who wants to learn that sort of stuff. And so after the first day, I was like, yeah, this is going to be good. Because they were like, this is something different. This is something like you're not used to. And anyone can do it. Like, kind of like CrossFit, like right. uh, you have progressions for each level. Um, you can scale it back or you can make it harder, it just depends on who shows up. So I like to coach it because I like to see people progress. Like I like to see them start off like not able to be like doing a cartwheel or something and then like a month passes by and then they can do like a couple in a row. And I'm like, oh, that is amazing, you know? Uh, <laughs> uh, so I just like to see the progressions that people can do. And I like to push people not like push them but like I like to push them to do better uh and be the best version of themselves and when they think they can't do something and then they do it and they're like what like tonight on vault when people were like oh I don't know if I can jump on this and then they did it and they landed it <laughs> it's good stuff so for me I really like coaching I enjoy teaching kids in hard environments it's something I've always done definitely outside of the classroom I really enjoy and so gymnastics is just one of those things where it's hard and kids don't realize how hard it is, but to, like she said, see them start from at this one spot and get those itty bitty things. It might be like, maybe they got one leg up in a handstand today, but like it's better than what they've been doing. And just to see them in here having fun, learning an environment that's different than school and it's not just traditional PE where you sit there and run a lap or you oh, play yeah. dodgeball is just so much fun to me. Um, and I love doing gymnastics. I'm not really great at it, but I, an athletic child in my family and gymnastics is where I've always excelled and I was always really good at it um, so it's just my little party trick and I think it's cool. <laughs> well thank you ladies both so much for uh, coaching the class and assisting with it. We'll definitely be back. Yes. We love Sweet. doing that. Thank you so much.